that's uh, still desperately trying to get your Tico working. Uh, one of the main things I found I'm having issues with when this thing wears out a bit, I uh, find this stops pushing against the filament and will make that clicking sound and it'll stop extruding and that's what I see a lot of people having issues with. So what I did was I ordered these little self-lubricating bushings that fit just perfectly over top of that. So what I'm going to do now is drill out because I've had a critical failure and I'm not expecting any parts anytime soon. I've been gluing in little pieces of tin for the last little while, uh, trying to jam it one way or the other, but that's not really working anymore. So I'm going to drill that out, drop that bushing in there and, uh, Hope for the best. This is it. Either gonna fix my Tico or I'm gonna ruin it right now. So, final stage. Okay, well, it's done. I did the hole. Yeah, it ruined everything. So it looks good so far. I really hope this works. Otherwise, I'm screwed. So, disaster so far. Uh, it's too tight and it just makes a terrible sound when it tries to move the film. So I'm going to file it down a little bit away. Hopefully that will loosen it enough that it doesn't just destroy it. Oh, it was just jammed. It kinked weird when it went in, so it's it's loading perfectly. It's making a bit of a noise, but I'm not gonna be uh, too worried about that. And, uh, she's gone into failure mode. So after a bit of fiddling, I think I've got it. It's uh, printing properly at least now. Uh, we'll see what I get for this. Uh, not impressive exactly, but I had the temperature set a little higher than I'd like. Oh, there we go. Oh, came off its raft pretty easy. Uh, there was a layer shift right in the middle, but that might be my fault. I redid the Teflon on my brackets and uh, I didn't re-oil it I forgot and I was I thought of it after I was like ah, I'll just let it run it but I'm gonna re-oil it and see what happens <laughs> 